Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I'm gonna do a video. Again, I'm with my student that is actually a pretty fast learner, as you, as you guys have seen. So we get, we're we like on our fourth day, and we're gonna do some lane changes video. This Today, though, the, the, there's a lot more traffic, so we're gonna try to do the lane changes with lots of traffic, right? But again, before we get into the video, I would like you guys to please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and press that notification bell so you'll be reminded whenever we have new content, new videos uploaded. Alright, so that said, we're going to jump right into the video. Alright, so if you notice, we're on a main road, we're on like Oakland Park Boulevard heading east to the beach area and it's a lot more traffic than say the last time we were out the last time we were out we went up to Parkland there wasn't that much traffic so we're gonna do you know this video going down Oakland Park and there's a lot more traffic so we're gonna get into some lane changes and we're gonna do it a few times just to he already have the basic of how to do it, so let's see how well he does in traffic. And remember, we're, we're kind of documenting the progress from start to finish to when he gets his driver's license. So, this is day number four, and we're going to do more of this to see how much of the lane change skills he has got, right? Alright, so... Whenever we get up to this traffic, we're going to do some lane changes. Again, we're going to pass the intersection. And then you're going to do, you're going to go through the steps. And change lane to the left. Alright, so go ahead and change lane to the left. So you signal first. You signal first. You, you haven't even signaled yet. <laughs> uh, you, you are? Oh, okay, I didn't even see that. Okay, so you did. Alright, so signal right again and go into the right lane. So you signal first, you look up here, then you look there, look in the blind spot, and then go over. Alright, let's go. Alright. Pass this truck, this white van right here, and then we're gonna go into the right lane. Alright, so you look up here. Alright, we're gonna start this light change. from here when it's clear then you go ahead and go into the right lane right, so yeah, this guy is going to speed up so so you speed up a lot and go in front of him yeah you actually can because he's not going that fast right, so yeah you know if they're speeding up or not right so if they're just driving at a regular speed, you can just increase your speed and make the transition happen. And then, you know, even if, if, you, if you go above the posted speed, then you can come back down to your regular speed after you finish making the transition. Alright, so we're going to pass these lights and then we're going to go over to the middle again. through a secure drop box or in another to a polling site. 
Huh? <laughs> oh, this guy right here? Yeah, just watch and see what he's doing. He's got a beef here, car. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not racing with him, so let him go and then go behind him. He says he's got a beef here, car. <laughs> yeah, he's got a big truck. So, yeah, like I said, it's not a race, so if he's going, just let him go and then go behind him. They don't want people to vote. <laughs> it's not like the weirdest thing in the world. You would think they would encourage people to vote. They're saying the more people vote, the, the more it's going to go for the Democrats. I don't know how they come up with these numbers. But I feel like if you're in a society that is supposed to be a free, democratic society, you should encourage people to vote, right? Isn't that like the most logical thing? Yeah, he has. I see he's going to the left with his blinker still on to the right. Yeah. Right, so we're going to go into the middle. So sit down as this to go through your steps. Mercedes? Mm, I don't think the booth is open, but that where the Mercedes badge is. Yeah, it's not properly closed. It's unusual, but it has happened. 
and you know when you think about it it sort of makes sense it's really really hard to sway an election by having people show up at the polls and vote twice like the numbers of people are just so tiny but in theory if you collected bags and yeah. absentee ballots you could he's coming out but he's staying in his lane <laughs> See you looking at it like, oh, okay, buddy, no, come on. Yeah, you have to see them, but yeah, I mean, like I said, you can't really overreact to them because the same way you see them, right? You have to assume that they see you too. 99.9% of the time, if you see them, they see you. So, you know, I'm not saying you should ignore them completely, but don't overreact to them. Because most people are pulling out to the point where they can see if it's clear. And then, you know what I mean? And then come out. Like this, there's too much traffic right now for it first to change. Yeah, because we don't have like an immediate reason to change, you know what I'm saying? So whenever you get a chance, I want to change lane to the, to the right. So like now you can signal to the right and you can go through the steps and go to the right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but people, you'll see that all day long when you're driving. There's gonna be a multitude of people that is doing things that you know, and they know they're not supposed to be doing. But you know, I mean, people generally don't do what they're supposed to do all the time. There's always somebody trying to break the rules, especially when there's no one there to monitor them. Okay, so we're going to make a right turn at the light. On Dixie, we're going to drive through Wilton Manors. At the light, yes. Stop, just keep going. The light's green, so you definitely don't stop. You slow down, but you don't stop. Yeah. Only when it's red. If the light is red, then you would stop and then look to make sure it's clear and then go. But if it's green, you slow down and just go around the corner. Slow down enough so you can be in full control and then go around. So we're going to go to the right, but we're not making the exact right right here, right? So we're just going to follow this road all along there, yeah, into that lane there. Have you ever been to that store, that ice cream store, Menchie's? Oh, okay. Well, they have them in a few, in, a, in different areas, but yeah, it's, it's actually really, really good. Really yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are actually more expensive than you would find in the typical ice cream store. You go to Jaguar. I stay here.
up quite a bit in the last several years. Since I've been practicing driving, I've seen many new, new areas, right? Yeah. Areas that you wouldn't ordinarily go. Yeah, that's why I, I tell a lot of my students. I mean, most places you don't you don't have any reason to go there, so you don't. In driving lessons, we just driving. We have an hour and a half to drive, so we generally can see a lot of places that you wouldn't see in your ordinary going about. Yeah, I I am everywhere. I drive every single place because I have students in all of these areas. You know what I mean. So I find myself just driving everywhere. That's a high school. Is it Fort Lauderdale High? Yeah, Fort Lauderdale High School. I, I think it, I, I thought it was and I think it might still rain later on because it's not really all that bright out. It was still kind of overcast. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a part of driving, driving in the rain. So, I mean, if it's pouring like really, really hard, I generally won't pick up a student. But if we're out and it starts to rain, you know, as long as it doesn't get so bad that we can't see, then, you know, then students, students will drive in the rain. So you gotta slow down going around this corner. It is kind of kind of tricky. <laughs> Stay in your lane. <laughs> Alright, so we're making the left turn, following these guys here. Told you it's a little bit tricky. Uh, go straight across. <laughs> so we're gonna go across the Las Olas and then we're gonna make a left turn and drive down Las Olas. Las Olas is a very trendy area. As soon as you, as long as you pass the light before it turns to red, then you're good. Yeah, this is downtown Fort Lauderdale. So these, all these buildings are like new buildings that's just been built. That's what you call gentrification. These buildings are all fairly new. All of these buildings are new. Yeah, so they're making downtown Fort Lauderdale as high end as possible. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> of course. Okay, I think I'm just gonna end this video here. So again, just please like and subscribe to the channel. Alright, thank you. And I will see you on the next one.